you can actually see that you don't need to make the damper go to a hundred percent which is just a complete flat damper with them you know being wide open like that with the air going across there like that you don't need them to be a hundred percent to get the 2400 CFM that's rated by the engineer or that's designed this is your design flow um, so really to get the 2400 you're talking about something like let's say right here at your 80% mark you're actually gonna see your 2400 CFM and at that 80% uh, you might be somewhere around here in the 90s or so forth but this is an example of saying that it's not so important that your damper be at the maximum airflow here uh, when it's at the 100% mark uh, what's real important though is that when that damper is told with the actuator to be 0% uh, definitely you need to have zero airflow with no leak by. Alright, let's go to the next slide real quick. Alright, aligning the damper shaft with the actuator. We're going to make this quick. Here's the tip. Alright, uh, when you go in to put in uh, the actuator and you slide the actuator and you're going to have your shaft here, uh, and it's usually going to have a mark, make sure you crank that sucker down uh, to the shut position which is going to be vertical in this case because you have airflow going that direction um, so you want to crank that down shut by using some channel locks or your hand